were solid defense. They've only given up three goals in the last four games. They have more, more confidence now than they've had for the entire course of the season. Wingles a shot and Hammond a stick save. And Irwin following. And his drive to flex away. Trying to skate away from Patrick Weircock. Gets it to Irwin. Irwin skates it. Backhands it into traffic. Loose puck. And Wingles scores! For Andrew Hammond, that's the first goal he's ever given up in the state of California. And what a play by Irwin coming in. Moves lateral, gets the shot, and I like the way that wins. 11 due to injury, and to get him in the lineup and on the roster, the Sharks return center Chris Tierney to Worcester today. Marlow a hard wrist shot, and that saved by Hammond. Games for the Senators, and especially if they're able to win them both, it could put Boston back in trouble. There's a quick shot to the net by Couture on the rebound. Brent Burns backhands it, and Hammond stops that. As Wingles, the goal scorer, gets it back from Shepard. Now James Shepard out of the corner, finds Hammond. The shot saved by Hammond. All that, the Swedish defenseman going from Chicago to Arizona in that deal along with the number one. Here's a breakaway for Logan Couture. Well, uh, what an opportunity for Logan Gutierrez. N neutral zone turnover by the Senators and San Jose. Just great transition. And Couture tries to surprise Hammond. He gets to the hash marks. He just has a quick release trying to go five hole. And what's impressive about the side it was Alex Shiazan. Formerly known as Alex Chason when he was in Dallas. Hammond is saved. And of course, as you well know, Jamie, a strong French influence in the city of Ottawa. That's correct. The eastern side of Ottawa is predominantly French. The Emmy is saved off the slap shot from up top by Griba. This is Colin Greening for Ottawa. Makes a move past the shard and the save by the Emmy. Big rebound, but Goodrow is able to get to it. But you know what I mean. And after that, they put in a hard age requirement of 25 or less. We often question him in his legitimate age. Here's Burns. Sets up. Rashad waited for the screen that came from Ertle, but it was saved by Hammond. Mark Edward Vlasic swings that far side. Cut off on the boards by Pajot. Now Mathot sets up. Shoots. Save. Rebound. Diemi there. And he makes a second stop. Nieto and Wingles on. They scored the first goal. Dillon's wrist shot saved by Hammond. And now Wingles behind the net. Sets it up to Irwin. A blast. Hammond the save. Rebound and that shot wide from Hammond. Off the half boards. Looks it back. Carlson far side. Turris one time. Or Ryan one time. But didn't get all of it. No, I didn't. And Nieto tried to clear it. Hit Marlowe. Stays in. Ryan back to Carlson at the blue line. Bobby Ryan, quick shot, blocked in front. He had a man there, Chiazon. Here's McCulloch. Milan McCulloch goes upstairs, shoots it high. And Nemo could, uh, Niami could come out and challenge because he saw a great back check from the speedy Justin Braun. This is Tomas Hurdle against Cody Cece. Save by Heaven, rebound. Chance for Pavelski, but it went wide. I'm going to do a soft, strong side, soft chip and see if I can't draw the same penalty on some of these Ottawa D. Like you said, that was close in real time and replayed. Zipanishad and a great club save by Niemi. Turris waiting, the one-timer wide, and they score. Eric Carlson on the rebound, and it's 1-1. One -one. Well, I hope this isn't an omen because Burns was in the penalty box last game when Detroit got their first goal, and this is the shot. You can see it goes wide. It kicks straight out to Carlson, who comes in back door, and that's a tough play to defend, and it just goes under the right pad of Niemi, and we get another look. Niemi, you can see him kind of scrambling back into position. On four, he loves this extra open ice. Thornton got a piece of him, but Carlson heard it coming. Here's Mathot. 
And his shot saved by Niemi. Rebound out to the line. Thornton there. Sharks power play has struggled the last little bit. One for 12 over the last four games, and that was the goal against Detroit. Here's Marlowe, and he scores! The power play not struggling tonight. Sharks take back the lead. Well, this is so far a very similar, eerily similar game to the last one. We want a different outcome, but it was Marlowe going to the front of the net. There's the shot. There's the rebound. He scored a power play goal in the second period to match Detroit's power play goal. And Marlowe finds that puck off to the side of the net. There's a nice look from the prison net cam. And Marlowe just tucks it off. That's good net presence by the Sharks. Like to Bobby Ryan, who got past Dillon. Now McCulloch falls on the return feed. Ryan looking for him. That could have been huge trouble. Here might be trouble. Marlowe saved by Hammond. The location of his first NHL game back on January 19, 2012. He said this morning he was excited to play at SAP Center. Big hit by Goodrow. Now here's Ryan, and it's blocked by Dillon. I think Ryan just held on to the puck. Come, come. Hurdle up top. Hannon shot got through. Hannon saw it and makes the save. You might have to go visor. Even though, even though you're in your helmet. Your grandfather did. <laughs> Mathot to the net. Niemi stopped it. Now looking for it. Comes back off his pads. Cleared around by Carlson. Carlson. And now across. Hoffman's turn. Shoots. It's over the net. Bounces in front. And just wide of the far post. As the Senators come within inches. Here's another chance. Saved by Niemi off Bobby Ryan. Tapped in by Thornton. Hammond has to move it quickly as Pavelski was bearing down on him. Kept in. Dylan to Pavelski. Saved by Hammond. That just dropped in time for Pavelski to get a shot away. The wing to Nieto. Here's Matt Irwin. Helped engineer the first goal of the game by Wingles. In front, a chance for Wingles there on the feet from Nieto just wide. A couple of close encounters down by Niemi because of it. Stone for Torres. And the Emmy the same. Stone scores on the rebound. Mark Stone ties it up at two. And the Sharks right now look like a team that's tentative. Look at them. They're backing in. They give up a shot. That's too big of a rebound off an easy shot. Stone's not tied up in the front of the net. And I'm seeing one mistake compounded by another by another. Now Hoffman, back for Carlson. Zibanejad, wide, rebound, score! Hoffman and Ottawa has their first lead of the game. Oh man, you talk about two rebounds off the backboards. And I use the word fortuitous and I'll use it again because watch this shot, misses the short side and comes right over to the right of our screen. We can't even see Hoffman. And there's the shot from Zabanovic. And it comes over. You can't even see. Ryan's right there. And there's the angle from Hoffman. Left-handed shooter. Here's Pavelski. And that's off an Ottawa stick. Here's Turris back the other way for the Senators. Drops it. Drive a shot saved by Niemi. And no rebound for Turris, who went right to the net to get to it. Centered by Couture, but intercepted, and here's Eric Carlson. He skates across center, across the Sharks line, puts on the brakes, and a pinballing puck saved by Niemi. Carlson just threw it into the slot. It hit a skate, and Niemi made the save. Pass or a bobbled pass will allow the Senators to get back in good defensive position. We just saw that. Sharks went from get, having an opportunity for a scoring chance. To here's Torres, and he hit the ball there by Bobby Ryan to set up Hoffman. And he's shaken up uh, midway through this period. I think it was his hand or wrist. He fell awkwardly into the boards behind the end. Pavelski, and he tests Hoffman with a shot, or Hammond rather, with a shot from outside that stopped. He's the paddle and swept that puck away out of harm. Wingles. Fernando with some speed back to Wingles. Shoots it, and his stick snapped in half as he released that wrist shot. As the puck is slapped by Mathot, Carlson tried to go across the rink with it for Wingles, broke it up. Here's a chance for Hoffman, he scores into the empty net. 
and it's 4-2. Well, you got to give credit where credit is due. Ottawa comes in here having won their last four games against good teams, Montreal and Florida at home, and then shutting out Anaheim and L.A. And tonight they do it in come-from-behind fashion. There's still a minute and ten left. There's still time for the Sharks, but Sharks have scored. And as Mark Edward Blasek comes to center ice, Joe Thornton to the line. He's denied entry. The game is over. And the San Jose Sharks go through the entire month of February without a home win.